Hello, let's get this rock and roll in. I have just done a video on how to set up a licensed mailbox, and I'm now going to do a video on how to set up a shared mailbox. So we need access to a few things before we start this video. You obviously need access to Halo, and you need to be an admin so you can access configuration. You're going to need access to portal.azure.com to create an app registration. And you're also going to need access to admin.microsoft.com so you can create a shared mailbox and set up the permissions correctly. Um, I'm going to get that loaded very quickly now. Admin.microsoft.com. It's going to sign in. And then let's get this started. So in Halo PSA, go to configuration, go to email, and then go to mailbox setup. And in the top right, go ahead and click new. I'm going to call this YouTube shared, oh, if I could type YouTube shared mailbox. And then I'm going to select Office 365 Azure. You're then going to see you need a few things. You need the shared mailbox uh, with the FQDN, which is fully qualified domain name, the Azure tenant ID, the application ID, and the secret ID, or the secret value, sorry, with the app registration we're going to make on Azure right now. So go ahead and navigate to portal.azure.com. Um, if you don't know how to do this, you basically go to here and click on Azure Active Directory. If you don't see it, type in Azure Active Directory, uh, Azure Active Directory, click on this, and then click on App Registrations on the left-hand side. We're going to go ahead and make a new one. We're going to call this YouTube Halo PSA Shared Mailbox. And we're just going to go ahead and click register in the bottom left. My little face is just about covered that up, but go ahead and click register. We will add the redirect URIs in a few minutes. Then we need to go to API permissions and we need to remove user.read as we don't require it. Yes, remove. And then we're going to add some permissions. So click on add permissions. These are Microsoft graph. So the big one at the top, and these are delegated permissions. This time we need email, offline access, open ID and profile. And then click in the box and type in mail.read. And we're going to need mail.readwrite.shared. And then type in mail.send. Mail.send. And then we need mail.send.shared. And then click add permissions. There we go. And we do not need to grant admin consent because it is not required. Then we need to go to certificates and secrets on the left hand side and click a new client secret. And I'm going to call this YouTube Halo PSA shared mailbox. Now, this expires in I'm going to select 24 months. Please make a note in your diary to go and refresh this secret. If not, it will expire and your mailbox will stop working. And go ahead and click add. What we can then do is basically grab this value, which is the middle one, copy it to clipboard, and then paste that into the Azure application secret in Halo PSA. We can then click overview in the top left and grab the application client ID, paste that into the application ID here. Then we need to grab the tenant ID, which is the bottom one, and paste that into the Azure tenant ID at the top. Then we need to jump into 365 admin which is the fourth tab over here and go to teams and groups and then shared mailbox. Now I'm going to be using the Halo PSA shared mailbox that I've already created. Just bear in mind if you're doing this, I've been seeing quite long provision times for shared mailboxes. So what I recommend doing after you've made it um, before testing Halo is just jump in the mailbox and check if you can send outbound mails from that mailbox. I've been seeing like post an hour provision times recently, which is um, not what I'm used to, but just a quick side note. Um, once you've made this, there's something else you need to do, and it's important that you do it in here. So you need to make sure you have the top two permissions set. Um, obviously, you can see here I have my email address, which is connor at And you need to make sure you have send as permissions as well. Now, because we're using a shared mailbox that doesn't have a license, we need to basically authorize that with a licensed 365 account. And in this instance, I'm going to make sure it's me that is authorizing the mailbox, so I need to have these permissions. 
you don't need any other permissions in here the app will work correctly from this but this is just to basically get a provision into halo psa and then you need to basically grab the primary fully qualified domain name at the top and paste that in to the shared mailbox name in halo and then go ahead and click save what you can do as a quick side note is you can edit the settings down below so ticket type for new tickets i'm just going to say incident this basically means when an email comes into that mailbox and it gets processed into halo what ticket does it make so i'm going to select incident and i'm just going to turn off ticket acknowledgement emails for now and um, because i don't want any emails that are in that inbox to be sent welcome emails and um, just a note on that one by the way when you enable this and authorize it it will pull every single email out of that mailbox so please make sure that the inbox is empty and um, there is a setting coming maybe after this video is out uh, in, a, in a week or two where you can tell it to leave the mail in there. But for now, it will process every single email in that inbox and will create a ticket in Halo and then delete it from the inbox. So just make sure your inbox is empty before you authorize this. Um, overriding the default site and user. This basically means if the email address isn't found in your Halo, what should it do with it? Um, there's a few ways you can handle this, but this is basically saying um, if it's not set, it will put them in unknown unknown. What some customers do is make them in their own tenant so they know you know to go and check it but again you could do not set and leave that as unknown unknown and then go ahead and click save we've not quite finished though yet we need to add in two redirection uris and uh, so what we need to do is just grab our halo url which is at the top so mine is .halopsa.com if you do have a c name in place so you have vanity urls um you will need to grab them instead of mine um so that could be i don't know portal.yourbusinessname.com so go ahead and grab that and then jump back to portal.azure.com. On the right hand side, on the overview page, you will see add redirect URI. And we're going to basically click add a platform in the top left. And we're then going to go ahead and click web. We're going to need to add two in here. So copy this in here. And I did this in the last video as well. I'm going to show you whereabouts I find these. Um, I will put the link to this um, guide in the description as well. It kind of goes through this all in a um, a bit more of a detailed approach but essentially you'll notice here that you need two redirection URIs so the first one is your URL appended with Azure forward slash auth oh wrong page Azure forward slash auth and I'm going to select both of these down below and then I'm going to add another one which will then pop up here I'm going to copy that and this is account forward slash Azure response. And again, you can check that by going to that guide and see here account Azure response. I'm just going to paste that in there because my spelling can be sometimes slightly dubious. Um, and then basically just click save in the bottom left. It's going to cycle that page, make sure that it is still there. Yep, they've both been saved. And then we're about finished. So back into Halo PSA, we need to authorize the application. You need to make sure you authorize it with the account that has the read and manage and send as permissions on that shared mailbox. Consent on behalf and click accept. And there you go. That is the mailbox set up this side. A few more settings you need to make sure you've got turned on. Uh, just go back to the configuration email route page and scroll all the way to the bottom. What you'll want to make sure you do is select this box here, show the mailbox name instead of the email address. Um, that's just so it looks prettier, essentially. And um, you can override that, by the way, by changing the name here. If you want it to be, you know, the, the name to be different, you can rename that there. And you also, at the very bottom again, need to ensure you turn off these two settings. Allow the web application to handle the sending of emails and allow the web application to handle the creation of acknowledgement emails. A couple more things we need to do or what I like to do, is add a dynamic email exclusion. So these email addresses will not be emailed new ticket emails or added to email lists. This can stop you getting in ticket loops where it's kind of emailing the same help desk, creating a ticket, and then getting stuck in a cycle. So just go ahead and click dynamic email exclusions. And you'll see here that um, I've already added it, but you just need to click new and type in that email address in that box and then click save. And then finally, if you want to, uh, back in email, you can override the outgoing email default. You can select what mailbox you want to use as your primary. Just to know any emails that come in from a mailbox, you will by default reply from the email address. So if you have a sales app, you will reply from sales app. 
but you can override this for new emails or um, service items if you're sending out bulk stuff like welcome emails and stuff it will use this mailbox unless overridden of course and that is essentially that that is how to set up a shared mailbox in office 365 and in halo psa hope that helps you any questions let me know have a good day bye bye